Ah, the sound of running water. There's another landmark in the relatively landmark-free Hockamock section of the Bay Circuit Trail. <laughs> Have to find out what this stream is. Probably part of the Taunton watershed. And I bet you it's something that precedes our intersection with the old rail bed. The roadway is cluttered with deer hoof tracks. Doesn't grow. We came from this direction, which eventually goes to Newburyport, with Mike working his way along. And we're soon to rejoin the point where the old rail grade crosses. And this is our way to the west and uh, Newburyport someday. And here's our junction with the old Taunton Railroad branch. That heads all the way to Duxbury. Here we are, deep in the heart of the Hockamock, with Harry having just examined the distance off towards the core of Easton. We're going to come back from this direction a little later. This is the most important landmark in the entire western side of the Hockamock. This is the old rail bed that goes to Taunton. I walked on it back in the 80s in the winter. It's great. And it's really your principal avenue to explore the Hockamock in detail. This utility trail that the Bay Circuit runs on 
merely grazes the top of this vast, amazing system. So this way brings you south towards Taunton on a rail line that they want to restore. So trains may roar through here again. This way eventually goes all the way to Newburyport. It's the Bay Circuit Trail. And uh, we're going to come back in on it. We'll be standing here later. And this way goes all the way to Duxbury and back to the parking lot where we started. Looking back towards the intersection with the old Ton rail line and looking ahead to the intersection with Route 138. And this should convey a sense of the traverse of the Hockamock Wildlife Management Area, the western wing that meets the old Taunton Railroad line. You can see all this marsh habitat on either side that's teeming with activity. Wildlife management areas are mainly designed to favor and accommodate wildlife prolifer proliferation. And human presence is kind of an afterthought, except in hunting season. Here you see some young Atlantic white cedars, an original benchmark tree of the area. This was a vast Atlantic white cedar swamp and in certain parts of it, it still is. It's one of the few wilderness areas in Eastern Massachusetts with a whole host of legends about it and lore. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> and here we're hemmed in a bit as the marsh height increases, lots of shade, Harry's liking the shade. The pylon zones are kind of like naturally occurring rest stops if needed. They look like pretty old pylons too. 60s or 70s maybe. And this looks towards Newburyport and Wheaton Farms more closely and the junction with the old rail bed for Taunton. We've got lots of berries in the swamp and this looks towards the parking lot. Our eventual reunion with the beloved truck that has done us so well. We're at the point where you can hear the road, that universal indicator of parking lot proximity. And as you can see, 
We're continuing through bulrushes, endless bulrushes.